Okay, so who are you and what are you up to? I'm James Lamberti. I'm the Managing Director and Vice President of AdTruth, and uh, we are helping all of digital media, including our gamer, gamer mobile gaming friends, uh, identify audiences. We ena we're enabling technology that essentially allows them to uh, identify audiences and you know provide a better marketing experience and do so in an, an anonymous, privacy secure way for the consumer. And obviously, that's a pretty important thing that's been in the news quite a lot with the kind of UDID stuff. So, what do you do? That's different. There's quite a lot of kind of solutions. Yeah, you, you know, but you do something a little bit different. Yeah, it's very different, and it's a great question. Um, and we're always trying to have an opportunity explain and educate about it. Yeah. Um, historically, of course, what we've done to identify people is put something on the device, whether you know it was a cookie prior to mobile or in the app environment, Android ID or UDID or now IFA. Um, the, you know, those identifiers, the problem with them is uh, they are a, and, and, and many people believe they are a very uh, hard identifier of the individual and cause problems for us on the privacy side. So we take a completely different approach. Um, what our technology does is it, it looks at a bunch of anonymous, innocuous data from the device, mm. right? Things like your language, your time zone, your operating system, um, each of which in isolation is pretty innocent and certainly anonymous. Um, but when you put them together with some math, you get a statistic or a probability that says, I'm 80% sure it's John, right? Or I'm 85% or sure it's James. Um, and that, frankly, is good enough for marketing to be intelligent and smart and for us to have relevant experiences for consumers, but not invade their privacy. Uh, and then when they want to opt out, which, we, which our technology allows them to do, um, then we put an identifier on the device. Not us, okay. but so the idea is the industry gets out of this huge quandary we're in, which is uh, I use some sort of ID to track. I also use some sort of ID to tell people I don't want to be tracked, and we're sort of chasing our tail. Right, so we, 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 it's called privacy by design, a whole different okay. lengthy conversation, uh, okay, right. but that's what it is, <laughs> that's what it is. And in terms of, so, so you're, you're making that kind of good for, for the kind of like advertising side of the market, so as a consumer, maybe I don't like yeah. advertising, so why is it, why is it good for me? Yeah, with the consumer, you'll, you know, when you know, when, when AdTruth is inside, right, mm. so think of our technology as like an ingredient technology. Mm. When AdTruth is inside, uh, you'll know as a consumer that your, uh, your identity and, your, and who you are is being uh, blurred. It's anonymous. Yeah. And it remains anonymous. So the idea is your experiences with advertising, with content, will be good, right? It'll be uh, personalized in a general way, but not in an invasive way. So it's a really important revolution and should put the industry in a position where um, rather than being on the defensive about privacy, right, we're able to start to educate consumers and say, look, ask for ad truth. When this technology is used by, you know, King.com or um, OpenX or any, you know, many different types of sites and publishers, um, you'll know that they're, they're you know, they're, they're trying to uh, treat the consumer with respect and still provide a good experience. So it's a, it's a really revolutionary technology. So hopefully I won't be seeing the same advert every time I load up my game. No, you, exactly. You won't, you won't <laughs> see the same advert 60 times in a row. Yeah. Um, and it does, and that's important, right? It still provides the ability for the industry to uh, serve ads, um, understand generally how to, what they call reach and frequency, right? So you don't see the same ad 60 times. Um, so it makes the experience better for everybody. Advertisers get return on investment for them trying to distribute their games, um, but consumers are seeing new and different games and basically having a better experience with advertising. Um, I think the thing about advertising is, uh, for the history of advertising, it's always been essentially a, a value exchange yeah. between the consumer and the advertiser. And I think more of, of late or recently, um, a lot of uh, just a few bad eggs, right? <laughs> One, you know, less than one percent of us in the industry mm. aren't behaving with a lot of respect for the consumer, whereas the other ninety-nine point nine percent want to have that value exchange remain intact. Otherwise, the industry falls apart. Um, so we're trying to provide that technology layer so the ninety-nine percent of us who want to keep that value exchange alive with the consumer can do so. So that's the idea. Great, thank you, Tom. Yeah, thank you.